So I'm sitting out here in Vail, at my favorite place to read and to study and to work and to just reflect. And I want to share that with you. This is the last day of our vacation. I've essentially been gone since June 29th. And it's been awesome. Um, all the travel has been, but if I could be Dorothy right now and just click my heels, it's time to come home. Uh, I miss my work. I miss my classes. I miss my friends in Madison. Um, lots of great friendships during the course of my travels and a renewed spirit for those friendships, but miss the people at home, my mom and dad. Um, take a look, though, at the scenery that I'll be leaving, which is just amazing. It's so gorgeous. This is the creek where I like to come out and sit. Sometimes when I'm bold enough, I'll even put my feet in. Um, but what this um, time away, this vacation, the travel has done for me is renewed my spirit and filled my bucket. Um, done a lot of thinking and reflecting about the quality of thoughts. And our thoughts proliferate in our head. And if you have good, positive, healthy, quality thoughts, they will grow and you'll have more of them. And it's a choice to have that, and that makes us happy. And each one of us, in our own small way, nothing we do is insignificant, um, contributes to the happiness of the universe, if you will. And um, we have an obligation to create a happy living space in our heart, in our soul, in our mind, in our homes, and in all that space around us. And I know that I will come back to Madison a happier version of myself, um, and that will be reflected in everything that I do. And I'd like to think I was pretty happy before I left. However, um, I just feel really good about the time spent here, um, both the interactions with others and with um, the sort of personal development and growth that I've done. So I'm looking forward to getting back.